Guys, today I'm going to show you how to change your um, switch right here on the um, Volkswagen Passat. But this is the new switch, and this is how it comes. It comes with both switch, so that means I'm going to have to take the steering wheel off. So I'm going to show you how to do that in a few, alright? So the first thing you want to do is take this off right here. Pull on this part, and um, also get the key in the ignition so you can turn the steering and lift this part up. So you're gonna need a flathead screwdriver to take that part up. All right. Same thing on the other side and get it up. Now you can get this out. Alright. So now it's time to take the bottom part off, alright? And it's going to be uh a T25. Take this part out right here. The same thing on the other side. Take this off first. Something I want to come off, you just have to get it all like that. Turn to the other side and do the same thing. Another one right here. Take that one out as well, all right? Remove those two. You have another one right here. You gotta remove that one too. Now that screw is removed, that's all loose. Now it's time to take out back the key. You can get this part over the key and out. Oh, remove this right here. And this come down. Now it's time to go behind here and get some some clip loose all right so this is how I take it out this is what I use right here and I go ahead and I put it in here but I don't know if you can see it good on the camera so I'm going to show you when I take it out all right as you can see I pull that this side is out it's coming loose it's time to do the same thing to the other side all right what you want to do other side over here. All right. So now you can um get access to in there. All right. I get that side loose. So now the airbag can come out. And I want to turn the key off. So now the airbag can come out. All right. So now let's unplug these wire off the airbag. So now you want to remove the, the airbag switch, the airbag clip right here. So you want to put this right here. So, so, remove this for the horn. Right. 
something right here. Alright, so now that's off. Just gonna take the steering wheel off now. Use a 12 spline um, torque, like triple torque. That's what they call it, triple torque. But if you don't have that, you can use a 55, a T55, and that will get the job done. All right. Okay, we have a mark on right here that might match up with right here. If not, it would be smart if you mark it. So now, before you take that out, take this out, squeeze this in, take that out. Alright. So now, this is what I was doing in the beginning of the video. Where I put um I put that off that broken screwdriver I had I put it right here and then I move it in like that so that's what you're trying to do right you're trying to do that you're trying to do it like this all right that's why you take it off because it had it always it locked onto this right here so now. Try to get it locked for you guys so I can show you what I'm what I did. This is a steering wheel. I already take it off. I just trying to show you how I did it to get the airbag off in the first part. So now just a screwdriver. But this one I had was broken. I was trying to bend it to get in here, but it's broke, so I still use it. So you wanna get it in here. Get it in here like that then you bring it like this all right and then you'd have to turn the steering to get it up up here to get this side up here and then you want to put this in there again and that's it that's how you take this part off all right now it's time to remove the um the clock spring make sure you make this stay one place don't get it to go all over the place because there's ribbons in here you don't want to break it all right then the airbag light gonna come on your horn not gonna work and then if your control on the steering not gonna work so um you want to keep this at this location don't move it all right so now what you want to do is remove these plugs you have one right here one right here one right here and one right here all right so to remove this one you want to pull the red clip down and squeeze this and it will come out to remove this one right here this black piece right here you need to pull it forward and pull this down and this one you gotta pull this red one down squeeze this in that come out and this one right here, come on, all right. And now it's time to get your torque, which is gonna be a T15. And remove um, these three right here.
to keep it so it don't move. plug right here. I remove this one. All right. Now it's time to pull it forward and keep it like this. Don't move it. Put it in a safe spot so it won't move. All right. So now it's time to take this off. All right. So now it's time to. I don't know if you can see it, but you have this clip right here. Yeah, yeah, this clip right here, you gotta push down and pull forward on this, on the thing. And it's the same thing over here. You have this clip right here. And push down and pull forward, alright? And right here, I don't know if you can see that, but when I take it off, I will show it to you, alright? Alright, so now you wanna squeeze this side like the thing that I was showing you and also squeeze over here and also this part right here you gotta pull it keep pulling on it and then you squeeze the thing right here and it should come on and squeeze on the other side now and that's it all right so this is what i was telling you you gotta squeeze down and on the other side right here you gotta squeeze this down right here and also this right here right here you gotta um bring it down too all right and that's it that's how you take it off and just put on the other one and it, and it will clip into place all right, time to get the new one. This the way you wanna go. Wiper on the right, signal on the left, all right? I'm gonna go ahead and put it right click there. All right, all right, clip in nice. So now it's time to go ahead and get your clock spring put that on make sure it is stay right there in the middle plug this in right here and plug this in right here all right now that's all plugged in now it's time to come and plug this right here it's also going to put this right here. Now what you want to do right now is get to your things. We took out earlier. Put one right there. Put one right there. Put one right here. Now you want to go ahead and tighten all these screw up. Tighten all three up. Make sure they're tight. So you want to double check your work. Make sure all the clips go in. But what I normally do before I put on the um steering wheel. What I do before I put on the steering wheel is put this on first. So it will be easier. Because if you don't put this on now, you're going to be a lot of twists and turn. To get the steering wheel on, you know. To get, I mean, not the steering wheel, to get this on right here, all right. And this rubber that I just put here, um, it goes in here. So in case the arrows come off when you were taking it off, that's where it goes, all right. Oh, 
staring forward, not getting close. Time to go underneath and get the one down here. No, that's that's done. It's time to get this. So now that is already done, now it's time to get the steering wheel on. So I'm gonna go ahead and line up, line up those. I'm gonna line up these two with boom, boom right here, all right? Right here, right here, I'm gonna line up these two. So now you just wanna put this on, make sure you get your mark. Mark is good. Now it's time to get this right here. Sure, you have the key out so um the steering wheel can lock. So now it's locked. Can't okay, go nowhere, so now you want to tighten it. Tighten nice and go ahead and plug this in. Press that in. It's time to go ahead and put this in. Alright. Time to install your airbag. So, first thing first, you want to put your own. Um, for the, um, for the airbag and this is for the horn switch all right and then I'll put that on and this is the airbag so we're gonna put that on and we'll first the get the clip up Make sure you always lock it into place, alright? Now you want to set your wire straight. And that's it. I can go ahead and release the steering wheel. Check the switch. Work. Now you want to check the switch, make sure that work. Wash it work. The trip work too. Signal work. Signal work. Lighting beam work. So we good.